I didn't really need this. Like, I just seen it and I was like, hmm, I want that. It's your girl Robin and we're back at it again with another video but this is not a regular video this is the first video kicking off Robtober y'all already know my birthday is coming up October 22nd and it's a holiday Robtober we go up all Libra season period like I don't play when it comes to my birthday so y'all better tell me happy birthday <laughs> I'm just like <laughs> but no seriously like come on it's only right. But anyways, so y'all know I do all my services myself. I do my lashes, my hair, my nails, everything. Like I do everything myself. So it's only right that I do my makeup for Rob's Hober season because there's several events that I have to go to for my birthday. I'm doing a photo shoot and then, you know, I'm probably going to do a dinner and then I want to do like a bowling night with my friends. So your girl has to give a beat every single time. I do want to kind of do some elevated looks, especially for my photo shoot. I'm having a photo shoot on the 13th and I'm super excited. Like my photographer is bomb. His work is amazing. So I'm really excited to see like how it comes out. I haven't done a professional shoot in a while, if not ever, like a studio shoot. I've done photo shoots before, but I think this one is going to be the best one. So I'm really, really really excited for that so i want to give the girls a beat like i want to give the girls a beat and when i was younger i used to really do like eye looks and stuff like i really used to be so into makeup and i don't be caring no more i do my same naked beat all the time i don't change it up i do the same exact thing and that's just my go-to so i want to branch out and kind of practice doing different looks because different looks have to be served 
it's Robtober. Different looks have to be served on a silver platter. Like I have to give it to the girls every single time. So with that being said, we're going to be going to Ulta today because I'm an Ulta girl. I feel like their rewards program is just top tier. I went in there a couple weeks ago and I think my stuff was like $30. And with my rewards, I got it for like $8. So this is not a drill, y'all. Y'all need to go and run it up at Ulta because their rewards are just bomb. So I'm getting ready to go there. I want to pick up an eyeshadow palette for sure because I have like Morphe eyeshadow palettes from like five, six years ago. Like bad, like bad. Like I got them in high school. Like it's time to give it up. That's that's expired. I want to pick up an eyeshadow palette for sure. I also want to pick up a blush palette. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go pick up some stuff from Ulta and I'm just going to start practicing different looks and I'm just going to give y'all videos and show y'all what I do, what I end up doing. If it's a fail, we'll see. I don't know, but I don't know. I haven't done like real eye looks in a while and I don't want them to be too, too like over the top because that's not even like my style no more, but I do want like a little extra pop for my birthday. Like... So I'm about to take a shower because I'm crusty right now. I need to go take a shower, get ready. And then we're going to head over to Ulta. If I remember to record, please like this video because I be forgetting. Like I be forgetting all the time. I'm rambling at this point. So let's go to Ulta. How about that? Right, you guys so i was about to say it's the next day but it's really not the next day it's like two days later and we got our stuff and i want to go ahead and show you guys all that i got but i said hold on i just got out the shower and i want to do my skincare routine but i haven't shown you guys my skincare routine in a minute and as you guys can see the skin be eaten. I'm not even gonna hold you. My skin be eaten. So it be eaten down. And I want to show you guys the products that I like to use. I have kind of like, my skin is on the oilier side. Like I washed it and I don't have anything on it yet. So my skin is low key on the oily side. I don't really have dry skin. I want to show you guys the products that I'm using. So we're gonna start off with toner. It's in this Andalou Naturals bottle and I used to use the Andalou Naturals um, Firming Coconut Water Toner. But I actually am using a Good Molecules one. I'll put it up on the screen I don't remember the exact name but it I just put it in this bottle because the good molecules one doesn't come with like a spray bottle so with my good molecules discoloration correcting serum this is really good i used to have a lot of dark marks and i still kind of do like a little bit but they have really gone away with using this i've used other products in the past but this is the one that i still use to this day and it's really effective i say you um go ahead and purchase it and these products these good molecules products are very affordable if y'all are not on good molecules y'all need to get into them for real so once i have my serums down i'm gonna be going in with my snail mucin by casa rex this right here this right here is the goat okay this is basically the secretions of a snail girl helps the skin to lose less moisture while keeping skin smooth and healthy so this is like a it draws moisture to your skin it keeps your skin really hydrated and just really bomb. And y'all know, like, makeup is nothing without a good skincare routine and, and like, good hydration to the face. So, y'all already know we have to get right. So, I just apply that everywhere. And it's just like, look at how glowy my skin looks right now. This is a new product that I've been using into my skincare routine that has actually been going brazy. Like, in Beauty Project, I don't know. KK gave me this. My best friend works at Sephora. And she got her gratis. And she let me um, run through it and see what I wanted skincare-wise. So, I picked up this slushy serum 
crush moisturizer it has hyaluronic acid yuzu and it's supposed to improve hydration tone and skin texture plus the look of dewy smooth clear skin minus pores a dull rough skin this has been going crazy i do two pump dot it on my face And that's my moisturizer. It smells really good too. And then y'all probably like, girl. But it's that we done, we done. Our last step is our Biore UV um, Watery Essence Korean Sunscreen. I got it off Amazon and it is so good. It's lasted me a really long time. And you know, we black, but y'all use the SPF. Use the SPF y'all, even if you black. All right, y'all, so your girl went shopping. Um, I ended up spending $92, but I got a couple things on sale. I'm just gonna go in order of the receipt. We just gonna get into it. So the first thing that I picked up was something that I've seen the girls chit-chatting about on the net. This is something that I've been seeing a lot of people talking about. And y'all know for setting spray, I use the Revolution Sport Fix. It's like a long lasting hold. But when I bought that, I really wanted to get this, but they were sold out. So I finally got my hands on the Revolution Super Fix. This is like a matte, a ultra matte finish. It's going crazy. Like people was really talking about it, saying it was going nuts. So y'all know I have to pick it up because I don't have time for my makeup to be slipping and sliding and acting crazy. Like I need matte products, like especially for my setting sprays. So I'm really excited about this. Normally it retails for $15 and I picked it up for $9. So it was on sale, it was like 40% off. So six dollars off i got it for nine dollars so i'm excited to use this y'all like let's get into it let's see what it's in for so the next product that i picked up was the juvia's place nubian earth palette this was 30 percent off so i got it for 14 dollars normally it's 20 now let's talk about it i picked this up and at first in the store i thought it was cute like i thought it was giving what it was supposed to give but i don't know i don't know if i like the colors that are in here I don't know if I'm into the colors that are in here. They just seem so cool tone, but I think I'm gonna eat with the shimmers. Like I really wanted that white. I really liked some of these shimmers, but my mom picked up one of the other. I think she got the Warrior 2 palette. So I'm gonna just use hers. The one that she has has more like warmer tones, like matte nude-ish type of tones that I'll need for my little transition shades and all that. I have not bought like an eyeshadow palette in literally so long because i y'all know i'm basic we'll see how that goes and you know it'll be another video so stay tuned but yeah guys so i think i want to do like some cut creases like just different stuff just different stuff so i'm excited for that our next product is the juvia's place blush duo in the shade or in the volume five this is what the packaging looks like juvia's place be snapping with the packaging now i feel like years ago i heard there was in some controversy i don't even remember what it was about but i mean i guess the shake back season like i love juvia's place products so if they did something I don't know. I don't know what they did. But here is the blush. I thought these shades were really pretty. They had some other shades that I wanted to try. Oh, and it has a mirror. Oh, guys can see people be asking me, what do you, what kind of camera do you use, babe? I use my iPhone 12 Pro Max Bookie. I picked this up because I picked another L Putty blush up in a different color. And I felt like, I don't know, I just felt like these colors would be pretty complementary to each other. So I wanted to pick up a new blush. I haven't bought a new blush in years. I'm literally using the same one from the beauty supply store. So I wanted to pick up like a real blush palette. So I'm excited about that because y'all know I love blush. And I don't think I mentioned, but this palette retailed for $18 and I got it for $12.60. So I thought that was a pretty good little steal. Like y'all know your girl love a deal. Then I picked up my e.l.f. Clear Brow at Duo. That's that, y'all know this is a staple, I love it, so yeah. And I forgot to mention the Clear Brow Duo thing is like $3. That's, it's, it's not, it wasn't on sale. Obviously it's e.l.f. so 
it's cheap another elf product that i picked up is this mascara i want to get into like when i do my makeup i want to get into like putting on bottom mascara because i feel like my bottom lashes are actually they're actually pretty long so yeah it's the big mood mega volume lifting mascara in the color pitch black um so we'll see how it performs what it gives you know I just felt like picking it up. It was a cute little packaging, whatever. And that one was $8. So another e.l.f. product at this point, e.l.f. and Juvia's Place is the most used products that I use. But I went ahead and picked up another putty blush in the color Bora Bora. I have the other one in Tahiti. It's more of a coral. Like it's, I don't know, it's, it has more of an orangey undertone where this is just like a bubblegum pink. So I don't know. Will this look cute on me? We'll see. Oh, and that was $7. The next thing that I picked up is this e.l.f. Smoky Eye Kit. I just wanted like some new eye brushes, so that's why I picked this up. You have like a C-curve kind of brush, an eyeshadow brush for like the lid. You have a fluffy brush, a smoky effect brush, and then they have like some liner brushes. But yeah, I'm excited for that. E.l.f. brushes are really good i have a lot of them so and i paid 12 dollars for that one then i got an eyelash curler this i won't lie i didn't really need this like i just seen it and i was like hmm i want that when i do my lash extensions my eyelashes kind of grow like downwards they don't really have a natural curl to them and my lashes are very curled so i think curling them before i put the lashes on would just help them stay better i don't know and it was what 329 and it's rose gold so it's really cute i picked up another juvia's place palette this is the blush rose eyeshadow palette i wanted some pink eyeshadow because i don't think i have any pink eyeshadows can we talk about being so pretty like look at that we'll see what we put together with that it retailed for 15 i got it for 1050 the last product that i picked up is this elf liquid glitter eyeshadow i'm gonna let y'all in on a little secret I wanted to do this look right here. Oh my God, this makeup artist, she be going crazy. Like her makeup is insane and I just love her. Like she be beating shit down. She be beating faces for real. So I kind of wanted to do like an inspired look of like that type of look for my birthday dinner. Um, I'm gonna like give y'all a little sneak peek. Should I give y'all a little sneak peek of the outfit? I don't know. I might include a little sneak peek of the outfit, but there definitely is green in my outfit. And so I picked up this shimmer because I wanted to be able to have something to use for that little green little shimmer in that nude eye. Mm, that's pretty. This is gonna be fire. I'm excited to kind of be low key, not high key, but low key back in like my little makeup bag. Cause I used to really be doing all types of things like i used to really like to like do different shadow looks and really just give like eye looks like i was really into eye looks now i feel like i'm more into like just a good solid complexion and keep it moving so i'm excited it's robtober so yeah it's robtober 2nd yesterday was robtober 1st and i'm feeling good i'm feeling like i'm in my element it's my month and i feel like 22 is gonna be my year so your girl is very very excited so guys, I wanted to thank you so much for watching this video and I'm excited because I'm taking you guys along Robtober with me. So what's really good, what's really tea. But yes guys, if you guys like this video, go ahead and like this video. Let me know what you guys want to see next in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will definitely see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.